tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Cooper's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Galata's ring walk. Just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. <laughs> Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. There's another right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. We're underway here. We've been talking in the lead up to this fight about who has the advantage with the speed. But we know who that is. As for his opponent? Well, his opponent's going to have to come up with something else. And what he's going to have to come up with is timing. You know, timing can negate speed. How so? Well, just making sure that before your opponent starts, you time him. You beat him to the mark. You're not as fast as him, but guess what? The good news, this is not a sprint. This is a boxing match. You can beat him to the mark. For all intents and purposes, you're faster. Cooper's combination punching is working well here. Halfway through round number one. Cooper's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Galat is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Cooper's well off the mark that time. Forceful uppercut by Galata. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hurts. Yeah, you wonder. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Galata's stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place. And that is, we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple so rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. You to the punch, that's all. You need to throw more. If you're... All the eyes are on him to start this round. Galata's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Stay on the inside. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Cooper's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. There's that right hand he scores with. 
Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Little head hunting with the left. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Galata. That's where he wants his man opposite him, right against the ropes. Cooper's right hand scores well. Jab with a straight, classic combination. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. One, two, one, two. Very accurate with the overhand right. Right to the body. Not able to land the uppercut. The lot is left, landing well. Effective with that one, two. Well upstairs with the right hand. Cooper's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. End of this round. Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting, we had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Cus D'Amato, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck, I'll tell you that much, because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that. He said, you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cus believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say, I'm being overworked. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. The Giants' corner is concerned. Their fighter may go down here. A little one-two, jab, called by the cross. And he just holds on there. There's a straight right hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Cooper's right hand scores well that time. There's no denying he's having a lot of success with the hook right now. But in a way, is there a concern because of that? Yeah, he's being satisfied only with that punch, Joe. I'm glad you brought that up. You know, we used to tell the fighters in the gym, if you can hit a guy with two or three, why hit him with one? Right now, he's being satisfied just to hit him with that one hook. What should he be adding to it? Put the right hand with it. Left hook, right hand, or even double up the left hook. Two for the price of one. Keep your hands up and throw your hands. I need you to string your punches together. We Three, it. four punches at a time, okay? You understand? Get closer right. to the jam and follow up with two more punches. Uppercut, then left. Uppercut. You need to capitalize on his mistakes. I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his mistakes. Start of round number four. Easy scorecard to put together. Cooper's up. Three rounds to zip. And Teddy, he's been carrying this fight because he's just simply been the more active guy. Yeah, nobody's really landed a lot, to be honest. But when one guy's a lot busier than the other guy, he wins the round. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Galata's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities. And he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. 
The Giants finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. How about that exchange? Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. That's classic work with the double jab. The Coopers break by an uppercut. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Cooper. Ten seconds to go in this round. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. And round four comes to an end. Cooper's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a quarter man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Breathe for me. Deep breath. Breathe through your mouth. Good, good. Okay, very nice. How are you feeling? Good? Good. Okay, you need to finish with the hook. You don't need that. Finish with the hook. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Cooper's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Using those feet, using that jab on the outside well. And you know what? He used his head early in the fight because he went inside, which is really where he's set up for, and he's got his opponent's respect. And now, that respect is paying off because he's being allowed to stay on the outside and control things. Little head knocking with that right hand. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Cooper starting to bleed from the nose. Uppercut! Uppercut! Took a shot. Now he gives a left. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Cooper. a good left hand by the Giant. Double jab, double jab. The Giant's putting forth a great combination there. Goes up top with a right hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Galata is known to be a pretty good, solid boxer, a real balanced fighter, but he's not doing so hot in these middle rounds, Teddy. No, I think he's forgotten who he is and what he is. He's gotten away from that. He needs to get back to it. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Another strong round of accurate precision punching from him. So it's easy to be accurate when your opponent walks out there and says, please hit me. I mean, he's just like putting a sign on himself. Here's the red target. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. Don't let him get to you, kid. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. 
now he's acting like a fighter. Cooper stunned by a big focus, shot. Focus. Big shot there. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. Now he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. One, two, three, four, five. Cooper's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Yeah, nice, crisp one-two combination by the Giant. Solid straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. One, two jabs. That is a sharp uppercut by Cooper. Cooper's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Get close to him. Okay. Accurate power punch by Galata. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip his punch and throw a straight right down the middle. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Lim. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close, he can get a chance to grab those hands and tie them up. And then, he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Good flush shot upstairs. Cooper's found exactly what he likes on the inside, and it is that power punch of choice, the uppercut. Now what he has to do is add something to it. It picks the head up, puts something on top, and finishes the job. A classic one-two combo by Galata. He's tied. Cooper's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Well played, straight right hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Cooper's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Scored well up top. A stinging uppercut by Cooper. Good exchange, he fires back. You see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Galata's been hurt by that shot. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Moment. What a big shot. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Galata's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you gotta do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't wanna go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Three minutes gone by in this round. Just, just keep it up, just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's not... Well, we heard the stories coming into this fight that he worked extra hard in the gym. Now you're seeing the payoff, Teddy. Your scorecard through seven rounds has him up big. Well, we heard about him working those five-minute rounds instead of the traditional three-minute rounds. And 
It's showing. It's paying for him, as you just said. The lot is basically doing exactly what we've always seen out of him, and that's after he's been knocked down and affected in this fight. Yeah, you know, there comes a time you have to make adjustments. That time has come for him. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Galata. And now he's targeting upstairs. The Giants' inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. A crushing two-punch combo by the Giants. A solid uppercut by Galata. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good shot to the head with that right hand. Cooper's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Not much action as he just ties up. On the chin! to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot and that's the end of round eight Cooper's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there I mean just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing yeah he's got to use his legs you're right Joe he's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work Another round gets underway. It gets us thinking how much oh, solid. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. Cooper's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. One, two. Good job protecting himself. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Nice strike after catching one by Dwight Cooper. Good block by the Giants. You're taking too many punches. Stand up. Good body shot. The right hand came home. That's just not good defense. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Now you got to see that coming. Let's go. Scores with the combo to the head. Effective work with him. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Cooper's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Stay away from those. Come on. There you go. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of... There it is! Knocked down again! Unreal. Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? One, two, three, four, five. It's over. This fight is over.